Well, I went back over to the first place I started digging the last time I was here. Because when I was digging over by that concrete abutment over there, I wasn't getting anything, you know, every once in a while a broken shard of glass. So I'm back over here thinking I have to dig deeper. So let's see what we find. Broken glass shards. Tin can top. Ooh, what's that? This find is funny because this is for you, Lanny, in deep digging Iowa. It's Happy Face <laughs> in a jar. <laughs> it's a lid to Happy Face. I'm assuming a face cream for women. I'm not sure how old that is, but we'll have to look it up and see. I did remember to bring my gloves. Two separate ones from two separate pairs, but I got gloves. Green glass. What's that? Something sticking out over here. What's that? Huh, white glass. Like milk glass. But it's got like a ruffle on it. See that? It's cool. Modern Pepsi bottle. Oh, something was part of a painted Pepsi or something painted bottle. Giant nail. Not square. Lots of iron in here. There's a lot of rust in this layer. Ooh, what's that? Cool. Huh? See if I can find a stick somewhere. Poke through it. It's a wedge or a sledge or something. It's got a hole that goes all the way through it, so I'm thinking it's a sledgehammer or something or splitter or something. Probably could have been used for both things. As a wedge splitting wood. That's cool. I'm kind of working along the edge of this giant hunk of concrete. It's old concrete. It's got the big gravel in it. thick glass. Amber. It's got pat on it, so it must have had a patent date on it. But it looks like, I don't see any seams, but I would guess it's probably a bottle machine made. Oh, wow, there's something else here. What's that? Hopefully it's not too big. Looks like it's metal too. Where I found that wedge thing, her sledgehammer thing. More of that chocolate colored glass. Molasses color. What is that? Yeah. Alright, are you coming to visit me, Chippy Mo? <laughs> Chipmunk's upset I'm here. New, new Pepsi Cola. Huh. Hey, 
rusty washer. Ooh, what's that? Ah. Oh, well, that would have been pretty. Some porcelain or china, but it had gold leaf edges on it. Look at that. to it. Maybe that's why they threw it away. Another painted pop bottle piece. Evil one. Well, I found a pair of sunglasses minus one lens. And I was worried. Um, one of my upcoming episodes is going to be on a German schoolhouse. And I've been scrambling all week to stockpile videos and that. And it was so windy yesterday, but I went and worked at the German schoolhouse. So, but the way the wind was blowing, I was sure it was going to blow in colder air fast. So, I mean, last night it was still 51 degrees. This is odd for December in Michigan. So, I thought when I got up this morning it was going to be like below zero. It's a cool 41. But I decided to come here in the morning because the sun would shine right on the dump. And that. So, I will get back to you if I find anything else. I wanted to check and make sure I wasn't chopping my head off again, which I was, so hopefully I've adjusted it right. So, still working on this hole. Ooh, that's a really thick glass. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I thought that was a date. <laughs> It must be ounces, 187.3. I don't know what that was. I've had heart failure, thought thinking it was 1873. <laughs> That's the main thing I love to find is identifiable things that I can research. That's the fun of this. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people think metal detectorists are looking to get rich. They're treasure hunters. For me, it's all about the relics and, you know, the history, things that happened in the past. You know, personal items. We love to find personal items. There's a pop bottle with the cap still attached. That's big. What is that? Of course, it's resting right, the rocket, the concrete's resting right on top of it. I wonder if that's a. a rim to a car, maybe. Not to be refilled. Give me your 71 again. I even found a milk jug in here, but it wasn't glass. <laughs> Pie tin.
Henry, there's my CCR. Trying to get an idea what this big thing is under here. Is it a pot? There's some broken bricks. What is that? Wood. Copper wire. I don't know what that looks like an old pot. Not that old though. Is there anything in it? Ooh, that might be the other half of that plastic toy I found and I haven't figured out what it is. And I dug that over there. So Lord knows where you're gonna find stuff here. Ooh. of a buckle. Horse tack, probably. I don't know what that is. Yeah, wood. Foil. Now that's really thick glass. Could be. I don't know what it is. Now there ain't no way I'm moving that. <laughs> there is no way. There's something red under there. What is that? What is that? Ooh, I think that's a faucet spigot thing? I gotta dig underneath this to get it out. Come on out of there. <gasps> Woo! It's damaged. What is it? Some kind of Spray cologne. <laughs> Slightly wicked. Ooh. <laughs> we can get close enough to you. See that? Slightly wicked. That's what it's called. So there's definitely stuff underneath this. Bent nail. Yep. I see something. I can't tell what it is though. That a rock? Glass. Yeah, thick green glass, but could be another gallo bottle. I found two or three of those so far. What is that? That will not come out. I think it's a rooter wire. I'm not sure which. Ten. More modern Pepsi. Must have slid down in the hole. That a rack? Or something else? Rack. This looks like metal. Funny. 
Maverick. It's got a hard stuff in it though. Huh. Weird. It's almost like it has. I wonder if this is an undergarment with metal stays in it. Look at that. See all that rusty lines across? Those are like. Weird. Interesting. Well, after three hours or more of digging, I decided to move on. It looked like it was mostly. 60s and 70s era stuff. I'll have to dig deeper to find older. This week's shout out goes to Deep Digging Iowa. He's a metal detecting channel. Tell Lanny Digging with Deej sent you. Help me grow my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share.